Paul from Taj Mahal Medics. I've got a Mazda 5 here on a 2000 template. Just replacing the battery on this, this is basically what we're replacing. And what we, what you need is a 10 mil spanner. That's what you need. And a 10 mil socket if you've got it and a ratchet. If you've got a ratchet and a socket, that'd be brilliant. And the battery you need is just right here. So that's the part number right there. If you needed something for your car urgently, that's what you want to search for. Now to do it, it is a simple procedure. First thing first, what I need to do is I need to remove this bracket. So all I'm going to do with the bracket as well. So I'm only going to undo this one here. So it's a 10 mil. If they are really tight, just spray some lubrication, uh, like WD-40 or maintenance spray. Once that's done, this side only, if I just bring you forward, right, right there. So what I've done is, I've undone this screw here. So I'll push it backwards and take it out. So it kind of slots in to the gap right inside there. That's it, that slots in there. And then you can just tighten it up. So if I, once I've undone this, take the bracket out, I can then take the whole thing out. Now this is on the back as well, same thing again, so it kind of slots in underneath this, just right there. So it slots inside. At the moment I've got it out, so it's gonna be a bit awkward for me to put it back on. But I'll just show it to you so you know what you're doing. So if I got in it, that's it. That's what you gotta do. So make sure it all kind of sits in properly and then do the same thing on this side. That's all done. So I'm gonna take the bracket out, put it to the side. Now all I now do is undo this uh, 10 mil terminal with a 10 mil spanner. So if I un undo this one first, so this is nice and loose, and then, then undo this one as well. Could have used a ratchet, but it's okay, you might not have a ratchet. I then lift the terminal up, move it to the side, lift this terminal up, move it to the side, and then lift the whole thing out. So this is the old battery. So if you didn't want a part number on this one, this would be somewhere at the front here. So that's the part number right there. So these are battery part number 158, 390A, and 45AH. So it's 390 cold crank, and then this one here is 330 cold crank. So it's customer's job, so he got me the battery, and I'm replacing it. So all I now do is slot the battery in to the battery cage, so turn it to the side, press back together. I then put the terminals back on, Terminal back on, screw it in. Do take extra care when you're replacing the battery, so, you know, uh, don't be touching, like say if you're working on here, this is a live terminal, so if you're working, you've got anything metal on the side, it will spark, so just be careful. Get this in. That's nice and tight. Now I'm going to put the bracket back on. I've already shown you how to put the bracket in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the back one in first. Right, so the back is in. Now I'm going to get the front one in. Once that's in, I'll, I'll hold it up a little bit. Screw it in. Same thing on that side as on the back screw it in and then I just kind of nip it up so enough so it's tight done done so that battery terminal is uh, the battery cage is tight now so I'm going to just start her up make sure it's up and running Lovely. That's all good. That's up and running now. That's all it was. If there is anything else you need to know with regards to Mazdas, there is a playlist uh, for Mazdas as well. Do check it out. And uh, do, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like the video. Thank you and goodbye.